Hello folks, from Envoy here, and this time we're going to be looking at whether or not you should be using Sludge Additive in Forest Number 25 for either for bathing or for chaffing the corn, because at the moment that's the only way you should be using Sludge Additive. So, what I've got here is, I've got a grass field that I recently mowed. This was fully prepped in that, and that's time in last video relating to this. I got about 157,000 years. However, I am going to do a test again using the same equipment. So, we've got one that's got size additive and one that has not. So, yeah, if we go over here, it's happening around. So, we'll quick hop into here. So, yeah, we've got one that hasn't and one that has. So, last time I did this, I got about 157,000 liters of grass. What I'm going to do is quickly retest this just to make sure we get a fresh number because this is a new session I'm on so let's go get done and then I'll bring folks back see how much we've got and then we'll test and compare and go in a bit more detail about size additive so right bathing done and we got 24 bells I went with the larger ones this time around in this video but anyways in terms of the total volume at six and a half thousand years a bell with 1296 years left in the bather we got 157,000 296 litres of grass from this one, the small 1.96 hectare fields. So yeah, overall not too bad, not too bad as a yield engine at. So that is the base price and it matches up to my recent test video. But now let's go and reset this, we're going to reload back into the game, we're going to test with the size additive and I want to see is it actually going to be worth doing because if it's not worth doing why pay, what, three grand for a hundred years of side additive? So, you can find this down over a couple of ways in that, but if you go to your pallets in that, go down here, oh yeah, side additive, 60 years for 2,990. But yeah, so let's test to see how, how many bells we can get, how long that additive will last. And then after that, once we get those results from B then, we go and compare and contrast with a cornfield, whether it's here, whether it's somewhere else, I'm not too sure. But yeah, skip on to the next results and then we'll go from there. So, alright, test one has been fully completed with grass and what we've got here is a one additional bell. So we went from 24 to 25 of the large 247 meter, 6,500 meter bells. Along with that, we've got 1,266 litres left in the bather. So, in total, when you add that up, that is 165,166 litres. We compare that to the 157,300 litres. That is a bang on difference to like two or three decimal places of 5%. So, so generative does again add bonus to it and as I thought it'd be about 5% so good to see, good to hear. So yeah, is it worth it at that price at was it 2,990? Obviously in this field alone, this one test, if you use such additive once for an extra what is it, three eight thousand liters? Yeah, not really that. Because even on easy economy you'll be barely breaking profits. Actually, yeah, we very close to breaking profit. However, as we look in the beta, we had 83 litres to start off with. Now we're at 78.67 litres. So let's do some quick calculation on how much grass you can get with this sludge additive. So right in total, doing some very quick rough math. Again, it's hard to figure out exactly, but we can repeat this another 19 times. Um, yeah, we still have another side additive left over. So, so, yeah, for example, 25 bells times up by the 19, point, 19 times we can do this extra. That means we can get about in total 485 bells from it. Compare that to if we didn't have any additional side additive, that is a difference of about 24 liters, sorry, 24 bells or so. So, overall, when you put it into that perspective, that does add up over its full usage, so yeah, 24 times by six and a half thousand year bells. That is on its own 156,000 year. So convert that into silage, and that you get about 50 grand from it. So 
for a full usage of Sledge Additive, I'll say it's worth it from what? A free grand expense? If you're making it from grass to silage, you are instantly going to make another 50 grand on top. So, long story short, get Sledge Additive. However, we now know this works for grass, you get a 5% bonus when you use Sledge Additive for grass. However, I'm curious. Does this match up with corn? So, alright, first test has been completed, and in total we got 265,301 litres of chaff, so that is obviously from this cornfield. Remember, it was a yield bonus of 97%. Could get that as 3%, even though I did all the steps to get the 100% yield bonus. But obviously, now it needs power in that, but obviously, we're going to reset and come back in. Yeah, ignore those glooming orbs at the bottom. Yeah, I don't know why you get that in on this map and that. It only seems to be this map. And I've done a video on this how to remove it. But anyway, so I'm going to reset now. And yeah, so we're going to test it with side additive. So since we've got 265,000 years, we should get about a 5% yield bonus. So that is an additional 13,000 years. We should have so around about. 278,000 litres, give or take. But yeah, I'm going to test it obviously and then come back in a second. And here we are. Test 2 has been completed and oh boy. <laughs> there is a difference in the amount of bonus you get between, you know, while not using the Sledge Additive for foraging or if you can use it for, you know, forage bag than that because. Yeah, we had a significant difference, so if we go over here, look at the bunker sign on the left, 273,126 litres. Well, you compare that to a 265,301 litres from the first test, there is only a difference in 2.9%. So yeah, a difference in 2 point, well, technically 2.94948% I got. Of course, yeah, there may be some differences, you know, things coming out the harvester and that. But I had a trace up, so... Obviously, first of all, I used the Bergamon, as before. My fault, just sure I'm not losing anything, I used four trailers dyed up and that. So to make sure, you know, we're not losing anything in that, so... Okay, yeah, even when you take into consideration of the spillages and that, potentially lost in that. But a 2.1% difference, oh, I don't see that, or 2.05% to be exact, to two decimal places. So, yeah, that is very peculiar. So, yeah, we've done the testing for, what was it, forage wagons. We've done tests for um, chaffing and that. So, yeah, I'm going to do a video on which crops to chaff that, because, yeah, there may be a difference in what crops you're getting at in terms of the yieldage and that. However, I think now we're going to do is test, do one more test. I was going to skip this bit, but I think it's worth doing. So, obviously, not just using chaff for, or not, sorry, not using size additive for forage wagons and harvesters and that. You're also using it for baiters and that. So, right, test two has been completed, and it's a good thing we've done the test here because we've got some shocking differences between how effective the size additive is between. Bathing and harvesting chaff and that. Because yes, as you remember that, when we did the bathing test, that was a case of a 5% bonus. Here, first of all, the first test, without any such additive, we had 265,000 fringe 1 litres. Now we we'll completed this part here with such additive in the harvester and that. We've then got 273,126 litres, so... That's only a marginal gain of 8,000 years from this small field, I'll admit. But when you break that into a percentage increase in bonus than that, that is only a bonus of 2.94948%, so basically 2.95%. Yes, okay, some of it could have gone out and out in the harvester and that, via when we swapped trailers and that. But yeah, as you can see, everything's been harvested. Same field, 97% bonus than that, so... Yeah, I obviously need to plan that, but what I'm looking at is, yeah, rate harvest and that. Everything's been harvested in that. So yeah, I do not know how we lost, what, the 2% of it, so... 
That 2% would have been, what, another 6,000 litres or so, give or take, or 5.2 thousand litres, so... Okay, you may not see much of a difference in that, but when you're doing large-scale farming in that... Like, remember, this is only a small 1.96 hectare field in that. And, yeah, so now I've got to do some more testing. And what I'm going to do is, whilst I'm going to set up for another video, because... I do have a field of... Uh, what's it? Straw. I do have a grass field here. Obviously, it's regrown again. Long story short now, when I'm just doing some baby testing and that. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to spend some time now. Get this section here mowed up. Prepare for an another video. However, I'll bring folks back. Because I want to do a test now. Because there is one more usage for side additive. And that is with the forge wagons and that. So... Base game at the moment, we do have some limited options, of course. But yeah, so I really think it's going to be a case of using this one here again, the Bergman. So, what I'm going to do is a test with and without side additive. So, I'm going to purchase one without side additive and one with. Because yeah, I want to see what's the difference now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can't get the side out here from straw it's all like using the quick quick belt in fs22 now where you could get three items in that from side out here as that baler in that because yeah that was a customized baler but yeah i am curious now because i want to see the final result so what i'll do is i'll get this cleared up in that and then yeah i'll do my full testing on that field or grass field and i'll bring folks back once I am done, and yeah, we'll wrap this video up because maybe a bit longer than I thought. And I've got more videos to work on over the coming days. So, right, here we are, we've completed the first test with the Forge Wagon, and as you can see, I am on a different C file now. That's because I had constant game crashes with the old field and that, the old game saving that, so. So I just started a new game save, and yep, yeah, still had multiple game crashes, and it got to the point where in the last segment, it's been, uh, been many, many hours it's been, but it's been six, six or seven hours, because, yeah, constant game, crash, game crashes, and what I've got and done is, just to get this video done in that, so what I've got and done is obviously mode this, and then all that other good stuff, so what I'm going to do is reset this, and then mow it, not mow again, but collect it again, and how I did this was I mowed two headlands, and then yeah, just went up and down, up and down, and so yeah, I'm not going to do the full field, obviously, as you can see, so I'm going to go up to this sign here, where it says year one season pass, so up to here, so let me just reset, and I'll show you folks, but first says, without any side additive, we've got 358,000 litres, so Will we get a 2.9% increase or a 5% increase in yield bonus? So one way to find out, but if I had to guess, I'll say 5%. Sorry, just saved and, well not saved, just came back in to the old save. So, as you can see, what I'm going to do is do the two headlands. And then, yep, keep on going up and down, up and down, up to this sign here. So, that sign we had, what, 353,000 litres for give or take. Yeah, I've got to move down that. But yeah, so I'm just going to get this done, and yeah, even again, when I sort of, you know, thought, leave, come back into the game in that, instantly when I first, uh, this sheet, I left the game, come back in, game crashed, so, oh yeah, it's, I know it's a new game, but you won't believe how much time I've lost, like, at the moment I've done, what, 53 hours in the game at the moment, 53 hours, 54 hours? And at that, I probably lost like 10 hours of just saves, testing and that. Again, that's why not many videos are being out, because at the moment I've got 35 videos planned. Or half 35 videos planned. But it's just the game crashes and that, and... I'm not sure if it's the map, Hunt and Pantai, because all my game crashes have been on here. And I've had two crashes when I was streaming on Rivermen's Springs, but... That could have been because of a multiplayer thing, or, yeah, more exchange factors there with using multiplayer. And, yeah, also, yeah, I forgot to do this here, or do this bit first. So, what I'm going to do is go to paint. 
and oh, okay, you just need to purchase the land. Oh, okay, actually make sure as well. We actually own the land, so what I'm going to do is just put a concrete base down, not too fast at the end of the day. But yeah, at the moment I am loving the game, that's why I've put so many hours into it. Not that it's just testing that, I'll admit. I, mean, I have fun when I'm testing that, you know, experiment things and that. Figure out all the little bugs and that, and oh boy, there's so many bugs and that. But yeah, most of these issues are like minor to moderate issues. But again, it's things like the bell and pad storage and that. That is broken. Yeah, there's a workaway around it, as I shown in that video there. It was a short four minute video where all I did was, uh, what was it? Did she just put equipment in front of the spawn area? Or the first spawn section, so. Also, yeah. Not sure if it's. Also, this is all being caused by when I'm using Steer Assist or the AI settings, because. Again, that's also another thing that. I did this with 9.4 meters, so I did use a tractor mower in it. Ah, uh, yeah, we should get the GPS lines. There we go. Actually, that's, that's a good way you know how to use the GPS system here, where. Let's say, yes, I know on console. Oh, shut up, you. Yeah, on console now, you can't use, you know, AI workers for bathing or for Megan. But yeah, you know, just whack on the ag steering and that. And boom. But yeah, things like this and that, I don't have any game crashes and that. It's when I'm mowing, it's most often when I get game crashes and that. Again, not sure if that's a correlating thing or what. But yeah, it is really annoying. Like, every time I was mowing, I thought, yeah, Chrome BM causing game crashes. So I used uh, one of the other mowers now. I used the uh, premium expansion one. So if I go to our mowers, I use these ones, the Sam's used ones. But yeah, also I game crashes on those. So, to be fair, I have no idea what's going on, what's causing game crashes. At the end of the day, we're only literally in the first four or five days into the game now. So. But obviously, when you put so much hours into it, like you dedicate so much of your time in that. Oh, uh, yeah, it does get frustrating that. But anyway, so that's going to be for a possible another video in that. I'm not going to do any ranty videos in that because at the moment it's been less than a week. It feels like a month down the road to resolve these issues and that, then. Oh, yes. I would be reporting and. Oh, okay, we're actually full, so let's go and empty this again. A lot quicker. Well, obviously, it's been overnight since I last done this, or front day that, because I did this section. Try to think, what about f at the end of it? About 5 o'clock in the morning on Saturday. At the moment, it's in the afternoon, because, yeah, I'll try to get some sleep in that. But, anyways, let's get this done, and I'll see you folks in a few seconds. Or for you, a few seconds for me. I'll say, what, maybe half, half an hour, 20 minutes or so, give or take. Oh yeah, so what I want to do is put these bunker tires down, like so. Yeah, shame with these ones as well, you can't have free placement, but again, hopefully another fix down the road. And yeah, I'll see you folks in a second. So right, we are done, and yeah, I may have made a small mistake here because we've got 378,682 litres. However, I think I actually picked up a couple of little extra swaths on the end, so I think, yeah, there's a little swath over here that wasn't a full length, but I actually picked it up, so yeah, that meant we had an extra about three or so thousand litres, because if we did the math with this, it comes up as an increase of 5.38%, but I think before I did that little swath section, we had around about 375,000, 376,000, so yeah, again, there's only this year a 2,000 year difference, but that difference is a 0.4% difference, so overall, long story short of it is yeah, you do get 5% bonus from the forage wagons, as I expected. So if you're bathing or use the forage wagon, such as it will get you a 5% increase. However, if you're chaffing with corn, sunflower, or whatever, and that other crops and that are available, then yeah, I'll say 3%, but of course, my testing is a 2.9% increase, so take that as you wish. And yeah, so 
This took a lot longer than planned. For example, this test map uh, was on at about 3.6 hours. Plus the other map I was on that, that was like 4 hours I wasted. And yeah, so I may hold off anything moon related, being in related in that. Or at least moan related, because again, all my game crashes have been linked to mowing or workers when mowing that. For example, I had all this all merged up, and yeah, so at the end of the day, it is what it is now. I'm not going to complain too much, I'm not going to bitch and moan about the game and that, because at the end of the day, as I mentioned, the game is only like five days old, so give it a break and that. I'm not give the chance, and even according to Steam DB and that. The game is still getting constant updates that, so the Giants are working on it. However, rather than releasing a patch for every little fix they see, or little bugs they see, just do one big patch to make sure all the bugs are fixed in one go, hopefully. And then, yeah, go from there. So, next video, I'm not sure what it's going to be, is so. I may stick on this map for the time being. But yeah, I may go back onto the other map for my animal testing videos and that, but. I was going to see as it comes, so this will be out today on Saturday, along with about two or three, four other videos I've got planned and that. But anyways, as always, if you found this helpful and informative in some way, shape or form, if so, smash that button, feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If not, subscribe to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for you to do, hope you're stay. But for now, it's be far from Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.